there's a new exciting project that I want to talk about for Linux, a C++ library for building Wayland compositors. The overall community sentiment seems to be positive with lots expressing enthusiasm for the new project, which hopes to attract contributors. And I want to talk about it a little bit too. It's called Louvre. Here's the GitHub page for it. Louvre is a high performance C++ library designed for building Wayland compositors with a strong emphasis on the ease of development. So Wayland being a fundamental component of the Wayland display server protocol, it's responsible for managing graphical displays, handling things such as input events, keyboard, mouse, interaction, and composing various graphical elements to create the user interface. Things like controlling windows, arranging graphical elements, handling interactions between applications and the display hardware are all things handled by the compositor. So you can imagine that this is a fairly big project, which hopefully will simplify the creation of not only apps, but fundamentals to things like the desktop environment. Anyways, why this is so exciting is because this is a challenging thing to do. As a contributor is explained in this paragraph, creating a Wayland compositor can be a daunting undertaking. Often spanning months or even years of dedication, this challenging task involves mastering Linux input and graphics and graphic APIs, managing graphic bu buffers, and meticulously implementing numerous Wayland protocols and their respective interfaces. Now, with that being said, there are definitely people debating on the choice of the programming language and why it may be or may be not suited for modern development. With the choice of C++, people are already wondering why Rust wasn't chosen as suitable for this Wayland compositor. In my mind and the personal take is that the choice of programming language is often chosen by the developers of the project, which often depends on various factors, such as familiarity with the language, the requirements of the project, performance, ecosystem support, and both Rust and C++ have their varying strengths and suitable for different cases. Just because people want modernity doesn't mean it's a suitable choice. Either way, with that aside, fortunately, Louvre simplifies this intricate process by handling all complex low-level tasks on your behalf. It even provides a default way for managing protocols, enabling you to have a basic but functional compositor from day one and progressively explore and customize its functionality to precisely match your requirements. Features include multi-GPU support, multi-session support, scene and views system, single, double, and, and triple buffering, persistent keyboards, and protocols that are available, Wayland XDG shell, XDG decoration, presenting presentation time, and the Linux DMA buffer. Whenever rendering with the compositor with Louvre, you will have the flexibility to either employ your own OpenGL shaders programs, use of L painter class with fundamental 2D rendering, or leverage the LS scene LVU system, which manages buffer damage and can also handle input events for you. Additionally, it is possible to combine these three approaches as needed. We can also look at the performance levels. Notice here, this graph illustrates benchmarking results. It displays average FPS of each compositor rendering from one to 50 moving surfaces using double buffering on high DPI display. Notice that in the blue at the top is Louvre. We have Weston in pink and Sway in yellow. As we increase the surfaces, Weston typically falls in frame rates versus Sway tends to have a bell curve here kind of in the middle between 10 and 30 surfaces. And finally, Louvre, this new protocol is pretty amazing because it stays consistent across surfaces up to 50. And this is because most Wayland compositors are using a single thread versus multi-threading where possible, especially when rendering complex objects. There's definitely more benchmarks to check out. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out yourself. This is a very exciting project for a lot of developers. So I definitely want to bring some light to it. It does have me excited, but there are some fragmentation concerns. Users are expressing the concern because there are other projects like WL Roots, which create pluggable, composable, unopinionated modules for, for building a Wayland compositor. Does this make for duplication against the other projects that already exist? Or is Louvre going to get enough attention to not become stale? We'll figure out as releases get made. All in all, exciting news to the Linux ecosystem, especially for those of us using Wayland. You've watched this far, so make sure to subscribe below. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. Smash that like button and catch me on Discord. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, 
and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.